Hey guys, so we have these two guys with wax attached to their chest and there's a rope connecting it to one of these 10 balls. And this third guy is going to be kicking balls until one of them gets their hair ripped off. So there are two out of the 10 balls that would rip out someone's hair and eight of the balls won't do anything. So what ends up happening, I think is pretty unlikely. After they kick the first seven balls, nothing happens. It isn't until the eighth ball that someone's hair gets ripped out. And I want to figure out what is the probability that the hair gets removed on the eighth ball. So let's figure it out. So we can set this up. We're going to multiply a fraction for each each of the eight balls. For the first one, there are 10 balls total and eight balls are not attached to their chest. And then after that first ball is gone, there are now nine balls remaining and seven of them are not attached to anyone's chest. And then after that, there's eight balls remaining and six of them are not attached to anybody's chest. And then this pattern will continue. We're gonna have seven balls remaining, six balls remaining, five balls remaining, four balls remaining. And on top, it's also gonna continue. Five balls won't be attached, four won't be attached, three won't be attached, two won't be attached. Now we're here at the eighth ball. There are three balls remaining. There there are two possible balls that could remove someone's hair. So after we multiply all these fractions, that'll give us the probability that the hair was removed on the eighth ball. Before we multiply across, let's simplify. We can cancel out these eights, the sevens, the sixes, the fives, the fours, and the threes. So now we can handle this. Two times two is gonna be equal to four, and 10 times nine is equal to 90. And that is approximately 4.4%. So the probability that it was the eighth ball that ripped out someone's hair from their chest was 4.4%. How exciting.